thought it would save them from eviction, but these homeowners say they didn't know they were signing away half their home. The WBZI team uncovered a nonprofit that beneficiaries say trapped them with predatory loans. And new tonight, WBZ's Christina Hager shows us how that nonprofit is now collecting taxpayer money. I'm here to get the message out. Homeowners Derek Harper and Nardella Thomas outraged the federal government is awarding a local nonprofit they call a predatory lender with millions of dollars. They're out there getting millions of dollars of grant money. That's our taxpayer money. And they want to keep this like dirty little secret of oppressing the homeowners quiet. So that's why we're out here. They say Blue Hub promised to save them from losing their homes to foreclosure by buying their property, then selling it back to the homeowner, refinancing the mortgage. But here's the stinger. Unbeknownst to me, in the paperwork, was something called a shared appreciation mortgage, SAM. Today, Blue Hub's website does clearly say most homeowners end up with a shared appreciation mortgage. But Harper says 11 years ago, it was hidden in the fine print. I didn't know we signed it. Now, if he refinances or sells, he says the shared appreciation obligates him to give Blue Hub half of equity. So if your house is worth 400000 they will get 200 of that. They're among more than 100 people behind a class action lawsuit accusing Blue Hub of predatory lending. That's why they were surprised to find out the U.S. Department of Treasury is giving Blue Hub $7 million, the sixth time it's received grant money. The company says the money will enable Blue Hub Loan Fund to expand financing for affordable housing in low-income areas nationwide. The government. Critics the like housing advocate Bruce Marks say the Treasury Department should have done more research. How do you think something like that gets passed federal lawmakers. The government, the Department of Treasury should not be out there financing predatory lenders. We reached out to the Department of Treasury but got no explanation. State Attorney General Maura Healy's office tells us her team has been looking into complaints since the I team first reported on Blue Hub back in 2020. When we tried to get answers from Blue Hub's CEO, no answer, but the company sent a news release about the grant. The award accelerates Blue Hub loan funds' efforts to address the lack of access to affordable housing for very and extremely low income residents. The homeowners have been at the State House this week trying to spread their message. Meantime, Blue Hub says their lawsuit has no merit. For the I Team, Christina Hager, WBZ News. Christina, thank you.